In this video I'd like to show you a few of my magnetic motors and how well they work with this coil. This coil came out of a speaker. Uh, a while back I harvested some magnets out of some old acoustic speakers and, and I saved coils. Uh, there's that one. And uh, got another, another one much, much smaller. Uh, that I'd like to show you as well. This, this circuit that's running right now is a circuit that I got a long time ago from uh, Smart Creations. And I believe it was uh, a derivative of a circuit put together by Solar Botics that they used to drive their Pendulum of Doom. And right now, the coil that is uh, the drive coil is on a sewing bobbin. It's 30 gauge uh, magnet wire, and that's what's driving it right now. And of course, this is just a uh, another little rotor over here that's magnetically geared right now. I don't know if you can see the readings on the gauges, but right now my battery's running about 1.3 volts and uh, about a 20 milliamp draw, and uh, and that's a fairly fairly new battery. Uh, some real interesting effects happen with the circuit when the battery gets low, but uh, we'll go over that another time. So I'm going to change and hook up this uh, air core coil and uh, show you how it reacts with some of these motors. Okay, I've got this uh, coil hooked up now to the circuit. and uh, Let's see if we can uh, get this thing started. Now the circuit, uh, the pot is still at the same setting that uh, it was running using that other coil. Now this coil does draw a little more current but it seems to drive that, that motor much much quicker. And here's the uh, the same rotor that I was uh, running magnetically geared. And there, yeah, it's going now. And it drives that just fine. Now that's that's a four magnet rotor, uh, north south north south on the magnets, but it drives that just fine. Here's uh, another one similar to the first one that I showed you, but this is a smaller magnet on this one. And uh, the current's going back down to the 20 milliamps on this one. And this is probably one of my better spinners here. This one, this one seems to behave really well. In fact, let's uh, put that right there. There we go, and you can see it's uh, it's driving those little LEDs very well. This is a little motor that I'm building just as a desktop toy. I haven't quite decided what circuit I'm going to use in it yet, so it's it's still under construction. Uh, but it works, it works very well. Many of you have seen this, this rotor before. Uh, this one is just suspended between a couple of magnets uh, on a sewing machine needle. Now the problem, problem we run into here <laughs> is stability. That's not a very well balanced rotor, and as you can see, it'll it'll jump off. Now uh, that one again is a four magnet motor, and uh, north south north south. Now this is one I think is is really a lot of fun. This is a hematite sphere. Hematite hematite. I'm not sure how you say it, but it's a uh, a spherical magnet. 
and uh, of, of all my magnets, this one, when it, when it stabilizes, uh, will have probably the lowest current draw and I'm certain the highest RPM. And there it goes. And this is running uh, below 20 milliamps, uh, pretty darn close to 15 milliamps, just to spin this, uh, this little hematite sphere. Okay, this is, this is just a uh, little piece of brass, uh, brass stock with a small uh, cylinder magnet on it. Uh, so the magnet is is actually free free wheeling on there, and uh, let's see if we can uh, get this one to cooperate. And there it is spinning. I'm going to get you a little bit closer to that so you can. And it's just sitting in there. It's it's rubbing all over the place. It's just sitting inside that uh, the speaker coil. But uh, it's working very well. Okay. So I'm going to take that off. And this was something that I thought was kind of fun. I'm going to turn this uh, circuit back down. Now this is a uh, a uh, self-starting circuit, uh, which was one of the things that, that made it kind of neat. Uh, so I'm going to take my... Uh, my little light here. Now the magnet is still in there, but the magnet is not spinning. But as, as the circuit uh, is, is turning off and on, I'm getting induction from the coil uh, lighting up the LEDs here. And I thought that was kind of neat. So I hope you enjoyed. It's been a lot of fun.